Hey everybody. At this Solvang restaurant, the menus honor every part of the plants and animals which are served on their tables. And the plates, well, they're designed to specifically highlight the local agriculture. We're going behind the scenes to experience Peasant's Feast. Peasant's Feast is all about comfort food and eating what you love with the people you love. So at lunch we do very much like classic Americana and then at dinner it's much more seasonally driven by what we have at the farmer's market. We're lucky enough here in Solvang that we actually have a market just two blocks down the road. Uh, so I get to go to the market every week on Wednesday and just start building the menu around what we see at the market. Everything we have from the wine to all the different food products are as local as we can possibly get and as fresh as possible. Hi, I'm Brendan Collins. I'm the chef at Peasant's Feast Restaurant in Solvang, and I'm gonna be making sea urchin carbonara today. We're gonna start with a little bit of bacon fat. We make our own bacon here in house, and in the process, render out quite a bit of fat, and we get to use that for some really beautiful flavor in this dish. Add some of that bacon, went ahead and diced it up. Nice and small, and we're gonna get that crispy. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of fish stock. And some butter. And add our noodles. So the fish stock we make from the bones left over from the fish that Stephanie brings us for the week. Uh, so in this case, it's halibut. Whatever fish we're running on the menu, that's what fish we use to make the stock for the base of the carbonara. Some lemon zest. And we're gonna add a little bit of creme fraiche. Both those things give the dish a little bit of lift and keep it from being too rich. Add a nice big pinch of chives. And then a little bit of salt. You wanna be pretty light with the salt because you can always add more after. And the various different ingredients that go into it also have a decent amount of salt in them already. Give it a little twirl and move to the plate. And then we're gonna finish it with a little more chives. Some Parmesan right over the top. And you can Bury it in Parmesan. You can be that guy at the restaurant that doesn't know when to say when, when uh, they're grating Parmesan over his salad or pasta. And then our fresh uni. And then just a little bit of fleur de sel right over the top of the uni to really make that flavor pop. And here's our sea urchin carbonara.